I have received a return to the writ, which I issued on 29 January 2024, for the election of a member to serve for the Electoral Division of Dunkley in the State of Victoria to fill the vacancy caused by the death of Peter Murphy. By the endorsement on the writ, it is certified that Jody Ann Bellier has been elected. Mr Speaker, a new member. Please admit her. solemnly and sincerely affirm and declare that you will be faithful and bear true allegiance to His Majesty King Charles III, his heirs and successors according to law. I do. Thanks, Mr. Speaker. I'm delighted to welcome the new member for Dunkley and the newest member of our Labor government, Jody Bellier. Jody, congratulations. Uh, this is truly a moment in your life that you will never forget. The excitement and the pride that you feel today is shared by everyone who has been part of your journey to get here. Uh, your wonderful family, who I've got to know, your campaign staff, all the people who believed in you, including, of course, our beloved friend, the remarkable Peter Murphy, the former member for Dunkley. This was a by-election that no one wanted to happen. And in Peter Murphy today, uh, we remind ourselves of the extraordinary loss that this parliament had and that the community of Dunkley suffered from uh, but particularly uh, Peter Murphy's uh, family, her beloved husband, Rod, and others. Peter Murphy did some fantastic things as the member for Dunkley, including recruiting Jody to the Labor Party. <laughs> and I know I speak for everyone in this chamber when I say it is hard to imagine a greater compliment than being selected by Peter Murphy to serve the community that she loves so deeply. The electorate of Dunkley is named after Louisa Dunkley, a champion for equal pay for women, and it is fitting that its newest member has dedicated so much of her working life to supporting women in that local community, including as founder of Women's Spirit. Jody, while Peter Murphy wanted you to be her successor as a member for Dunkley, of course, the ultimate decision belonged, as it always does, to the people of your local community. On March the 2nd, the people of Dunkley put their trust in you to be their champion. And I must say that it did give uh, myself, uh, the Treasurer and the Minister for Skills and Training the birthday gift that we did want, that we did ask for. <laughs> so to use uh, each and every day you spend in this place and this role, you will be able to make a positive difference to people's lives. And I know that that is the focus that you will bring. The special honour, the great privilege and, above all, the solemn responsibility that you take up today as the member for Dunkley. We're delighted to welcome you to the parliament, to the caucus and to our Labor government, reinforcing that you will notice in the caucus room a majority of women. May this be the first of many sitting weeks and the beginning of many years of service as the member for Dunkley. I wish you all the very best and congratulations once again. <laughs> 